Now, with almost every aspect of our lives involved with computers, imagine having your information taken from you and held for ransom. Well, this threat has become a reality through ransomware such as CryptoLocker. Now, CryptoLocker is a malware that disguises itself as an innocent attachment that then leaves your files encrypted and unreadable unless you pay up. Our reporter Saeed Algaskos so went to find out more about this frightening new wave of digital crime. CryptoLocker is an online scam that first appeared six months ago. It targets computers running Microsoft Windows, which make up over 90% of systems used worldwide. Experts say it's one of the worst forms of online crime to date. CryptoLocker runs its victims' computer users by encrypting all files and information, forcing them to either pay up to get their data back or lose everything. I met up with an IT expert to give us a demonstration of CryptoLocker. So what you see here is a pre-infected machine with CryptoLocker, so it's already been infected. The way that we can see this, and if you see this big red square, you actually see that uh, CryptoLocker is telling us that our information has been encrypted on the machine. And it tells us a little bit about that if you deleted CryptoLocker, you can download it from here again, because that's basically the only way that you're going to get access to your data again. If we look into our documents on our machine, it looks actually like our documents is pretty much okay. But if we open them up, we can see that all of them are now uh, including garbage data or encrypted data. Mm -hmm. There's no way that we can actually make sense of what's written here. And that's actually the encrypted format of your, uh, of your data. In order to get this back into clear text, I basically have to go through the process of paying up the ransom to CryptoLocker. The way that I do that is that they have installed a small application on your machine, and it tells you basically that I have 68 hours left in order to pay the ransom. And uh, I get information about what it is that they've done to the data, and they say, well, unless you pay up 300 US dollars or 300 euros, or a similar amount in another currency, they are going to uh, delete the keys associated with uh, encrypting this data. I then go through a process where I say next, and then I can choose which way of paying up. I can choose Bitcoin, and I can choose something called money back. Mm -hmm. Both services are completely anonymized services, which means that we have no way of identifying who's actually receiving the data or sorry, the money on the other end. Once you pay up, the idea is simply that CryptoLocker will send information to the computer again and decrypt your data. And um, that's basically the mode of operation of CryptoLocker. What are the solutions for a user who's been infected by CryptoLocker? Well, that's actually the very scary part about CryptoLocker. Once infected, there's not a lot of options. If the data is important for you and you need that data on the machine and you do not have a backup somewhere else, there's actually nothing else to do than pay up. How much damage has CryptoLocker done so far? The economy behind CryptoLocker is extremely difficult to track. But there's been some numbers are, uh, discussed, which is that between 250 to 300,000 systems has been infected worldwide. And up to now, we thought that only a fairly small amount of those people would actually pay up. A very recent study showed that up to 40% would actually pay up. And that's actually quite concerning, because that means that CryptoLocker is now a $100 million plus industry. Is there any software or solution that can help prevent this? It's about making sure that you have the right kind of backups of your critical data so that in case you do get infected, uh, you can somehow get access to your data again in an unencrypted format or uninfected format. What kind of money are we talking about when it comes to CryptoLocker? Depends a little bit. Um, you know, roughly we're looking at around 300 US dollars to get a machine unencrypted or unlocked again. In the past, we always used to have a financial flow financial transaction that, that the cyber criminals could be uh, detected based on, and that would be how law enforcement would actually work on bringing down these kind of services. But today there's anonymous ways of paying on the internet, Bitcoin being one of them, uh, which allows the cyber criminals actually to make money in a fairly anonymous way without having any kind of, uh, without having uh, any kind of way of tracking them. Experts such as Nikolai claim that with new ransomwares evolving out of the likes of CryptoLocker and with law enforcement not being able to trace where the payments go, things will only get worse. So be careful when opening that unidentified email. It could lead to a tech nightmare with no easy exit. Saeed Elgasgos, Emirates 24-7.